This morning, Aaron Nola and the Phillies agreed to a 7-year, $172 million deal for Nola to return to Philly. This contract is set to expire in 2030 when Nola is 37 years old. This came as a shock to many as it was looking like Aaron was headed elsewhere, but they were able to get a deal done early in MLB free agency. Subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with all things Philly sports. Aaron Nola was expected to receive a deal somewhere in the $200 million range, as he is known to be one of the better starting pitchers in the game. Even though he has been inconsistent at times, he eats innings and pitches great in the big moment. Any team would have loved to have a guy like Nola, and that is why they were willing to pay so much for him. According to MLB insider John Heyman, Aaron Nola turned down more money from other teams just to remain with the Phillies. He has played with the Phillies his entire career after he was drafted here and fully bought into what this city is all about. His contract came as a surprise to me. I expected Nola to sign for around 6 years $200 million. Instead, the Phillies were able to get him for 7 years $172 million. In my opinion, that's a steal for the Phillies. They bring back their longest tenured player long term and for a discount. There is not much more you can ask for. Nola signing with the Phillies also gives the Atlanta Braves one less starting pitcher to choose from as they are looking to add somebody this winter. The pressure is now off of Aaron Nola. Going into 2023, I think he had a lot of pressure surrounding him as he wasn't under contract after the season as well as being new to the new pitch clock rules. Now that he is under contract for 7 years and knows the pitch clock, I think that he is going to lock in the season and have a Cy Young caliber year. I have all the faith in the world in Aaron Nola and I am really excited to watch him for another 7 years. This was the first major move of the offseason for the Phillies and I expect them to make a lot more of them in the next couple months. Around Christmas time, I will be making another video on the Phillies discussing the offseason and the moves they still have to make. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about the Aaron Nola signing and how you think he will do going forward. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you want to stay up to date with all things Philly sports. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.